They have such a commitment, such a commitment. Uh, and and they, they um, it's like that's their role in life. What they do um, is not like business. It's different, but it takes a lot of internal push. David has done this in uh, Asina Cares so that we don't lose sight of it. I, th I, you know, he was always looking for something that was, would en encompass all of us. I never thought that we wouldn't make it work. So why quit? I knew it had to happen. When you think about Asina, it's a holding company with five different brands. And, and each brand has its own philanthropic focus. So when we put the company together, and we've got Asina, what, what did Asina stand for? As we thought about it, it's really all about empowering women and children to be their best. You say, well, what if we did something for our matriarch, Mrs. J? Growing up and having that, that core value, the importance of family, the importance of really being um, able to give back for people uh, that aren't as fortunate as, as you or being able to leverage the resource that you have to do more. I'm always um, amazed when I hear about people who are doing incredible work, very selfless work, trying to figure out how to help women and, and, and girls and children over some of the obstacles in their lives. Working with women and girls, either in my own foundation or in just the reporting that I've done over now many, many years, it's been a real passion for me. Um, but I thought it was a wonderful fit because I think they're they're giving a meaningful contribution, and they've sorted through so many candidates to really find the people who are doing the best work, and then supporting them financially, which is a win-win. The the special sauce, if you will, is something that Mrs. Jaffe embodies, right? Which is. She was a mom, she worked hard, she was an entrepreneur, she was someone who could make something happen and also had help along the way. She had support. And I think someone like that who's wildly successful then turns around and says, I understand what it takes to make other people successful. It takes support, it takes help, it takes cheerleading, it takes pulling and pushing and, and, and just, you know, sometimes just stamina. Well, listen, at the end of the day, often nonprofits struggle financially. You have a great idea, but it's it's hard to support the work you're doing. Uh, I I run a nonprofit. I work with a bunch of nonprofits. I understand how hard it is. The fact that they're getting a really big cash gift is a huge boon because then they can really do the work that they're already doing so well. Passion will get you so far, and you have to have passion if you're going to run a nonprofit. If you're going to focus on opportunities for women and children, you got to have a lot of passion, a lot of stamina. But sometimes you also need a financial gift to help you fund the great work you're trying to do. Mama Toto is a nonprofit that provides um, lower cost prenatal and breastfeeding services to um, women and their families in the DC metro area. And we also train women of color to be paraprofessionals in the role of community birth workers. Um, in order to increase the number of those women within the profession of maternal and child health. There is a disparity that exists on both ends of the spectrum as it relates to services provided by lower income women and women of color, um, as well as disparities within the profession of maternal and child health as it relates to women of color. It's going to allow us to expand um, into other cities who have similar different um, demographics as D.C. I mean, we're really going to be able to change more lives and support more families and help more babies come into the world safely. It's definitely like a once in a lifetime. I feel like one of those opportunities that you're like, it would be nice if I could do that one day, but to actually be doing it and be living in this moment, it, it is truly, truly inspiring. When I started this several years ago, I really had youth supporting me just based upon a vision. They didn't know me, that I didn't have a history, and the fact that these youth believed in me because they genuinely knew that I believed in them, and they believed that I could help them to achieve their goals and a, a brighter future. So this is really important because it really validates all of the hard work that these youth have done. 
I'm, I'm ecstatic. The, the fact that someone that is accomplished and successful, such as uh, Mrs. Jaffe, the, the fact that she is willing to give back and, and look back and grab other visionaries who want to make a difference in the community means a great deal to me. She's setting a wonderful example for people like me that no matter where you are in your walk of success, you always look back and give to others. And she didn't have to do this, but I'm so appreciative that she did. What we do is we empower youth to think outside of the box. So many of them just see the basics of life. They go to school, they go home. But I want them to be able to see that even though they may be living in an underserved community or they may be impoverished or they may not be, I want them to know that they can achieve greater goals of college and career and impacting their communities, impacting their families. So what we're doing now is really investing in the future. We are a global um, enterprise because we sell fair trade coffee and help farmers um, be able to send their kids to school and provide their medical care. And we work with women in recovery from addiction. I was told I would do something important. But, um, and my whole life has led up to this place. And I've had an incredible life, a difficult one, but with incredible experience, which all comes together. This, this is my calling. How do you live if you don't have a calling? I don't know that I could. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Soledad O'Brien, and I am honored to be here to welcome you to the first annual Rosalind S. Jaffe Awards. And as part of its philanthropic mission, Asina searched far and wide for really everyday heroes. I am honored and humbled to have this award in my name. My father's in prison, my grandfather's in prison, nobody has graduated from high school, and I know that by default I'm going to be a failure. And I told him, you don't change your name, you change the meaning of your name. How do you begin to thank the whole cadre of people involved in this award, including the unknown person who nominated me? Um, it's wonderful, and I have tears in my eyes because of my women, my friends. In one short year, we have served over 100 women and their families offering free and low-cost labor and support services, postpartum services, parent education classes, emergency baby and maternity items, breastfeeding help, and trained almost 30 women in our 13-week training as community birth workers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Soledad O'Brien, and I am honored to be here to welcome you to the first annual Rosalind S. Jaffe Awards. I am honored and humbled to have this award in my name. I'm always um, amazed when I hear about people who are doing incredible work, very selfless work, trying to figure out how to help women and, and, and girls and children over some of the obstacles in their lives. It's really all about empowering women and children to be their best. And as part of its philanthropic mission, Asina searched far and wide for really everyday heroes. They have such a commitment. It's an amazing opportunity to highlight them. It's an amazing financial gift to these organizations. It's an awesome opportunity to help more people. I mean, we're really gonna be able to change more lives and support more families and help more babies come into the world safely. So what we're doing now is really investing in the future. But it takes a lot of internal push. Passion will get you so far. And you have to have passion if you're going to run a nonprofit, if you're going to focus on opportunities for women and children. You got to have a lot of passion, a lot of stamina. But sometimes you also need a financial gift to help you fund the great work you're trying to do.